Hey everybody, Dean here in Dean's Summer Shop. And um, over the last few years, we've had a guest out in our backyard during these summer months. And today it's officially summer. Uh, we have a tiny little wren and he sounds amazing. He's a very, very small bird. Uh, he's a common house wren, uh, but he's, for a little tiny bird, he's so loud. Um, and very welcome because he, he runs around the fences and eats, and eats spiders. Um, so we, we welcome him. He sounds great. And, uh, and I, I think the reason that, uh, that bird keeps coming back to the, to our backyard is because I've had for, I don't even know where it came from. I've had a small little, uh, wren house. And, uh, and so, uh, recently we started replacing some fence pros, uh, some fence sections because they're falling apart, literally just rotting off and just like the wind blew it over uh, uh, last month. And so I had to go out and buy a number of them and replace them. But I have, I took them all apart because it's all cedar and it's all, all the upright ones are, you know, they're, how tall is that? Four, almost four feet. And um, this is the wood that I'm going to use. It looks like reclaimed barn wood. Uh, it's already weathered. So, uh, um, and I'm not a big fan of making uh, things like doll houses that look like brand spanking new because uh, here in a Wisconsin season, it'll it'll just it'll just get trashed. So I don't I don't bother. Um, I'll use something that's already weathered. And um, in order to do that, uh, I've got I've gotten all the I've gotten the dimensions down and the pieces that I need. Um, here's a sample. So we're going to build one of these right now. And it's very simple because it's only six pieces, um, and including the perch and the hanger. So that's, that's not including, but it's to be eight pieces, uh, six pieces of wood and two little metal things. So, um, but in order to, in order to get the size that I need for the sides in the front and the back, I have to glue two of these together. So, um, and in order to do that, I have to run them through the uh, table saw and rip the ends off so they're nice and straight so that they glue together. So let's go do that. Okay, so I've set my table saw uh, to be just a little above the wood. Here we go. And I've set the fence so that it's just taking off the, the edge of one side. And then I'll do the same with the other, and that's the sides that I'll that'll go together. Okay, here are the uh, ripped edges. And how did I determine that? I think, I don't know, I put them in different directions to see which one's the best fit. And I think, I think this is the best fit. So let's glue these things. I've been using a little bit of called uh, tight bond original wood glue it works really well. So I'm just going to spread it out a little bit here. And it's going to squeeze out. So I want to get as much off as possible so it doesn't get all over the old wood. Okay. Which it will, it's going to just, it's going to come out all over the place. But. Oh well. Okay. Really handy having these clamps. I just bought these the other day. 
uh, they're like four bucks each. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm making a birdhouse. I need a bunch of clamps. I bought three of them. I should have brought four of them. Okay, now you can see the glue is kind of squirting out there. It's gonna be doing the same on the bottom also. Okay, the bottom is flush. This is not, so I'll probably be using the bottom as the part you see. Okay, there we are. I'm going to let that sit. We're gonna let that sit overnight. And I'm gonna clean up my mess. And we'll come back after this is dried. Okay, so that's it. Um, all glued together. Uh, it's the next day. It's not. I'm kidding. I filmed this all in one day. I just glued this up yesterday for video purposes. For speeding this along. Okay, so it's glued together. I like it. It's pretty good. Now it, here's my here's my sides, and what I'm going to do first is uh, set up my chop saw and start here, and then pull all the pieces out. And you know, it it, it only takes just a you know not even a full section of this. But now I've got the roof which is two pieces and they're six by six. And then this is, uh, this is six and a half, so I'm, I'm good. Um, okay, chop saw. <laughs> as much as I need. I think that that's, oh, I think 
that's where I need it. <clears throat> Find out soon. Okay, so that's not part of it, but these are. Okay, so here's my roof. You can decide how you want, which, which you want for the top and which you want for, uh, what you want it to look like. Um, I mean, this fresh cut, and here's an old edge, that's gonna, that will be uh, patinaed just fine in no time. So I'm not concerned about that. Okay, here's the front and the back. Here's the two sides. Now, pick which one you want to be the front, and I'm gonna pick a really nice one right here. And since it is oriented like this, um, I'm going to drill the entry hole, which is only a one inch hole. Um, I'd like to have a chamfer bit, but I don't have chamfer bits. So I'll be using a, uh, a not a hole saw. Shit. All right, so I'll be using, I'll be making a one inch hole here and the, uh, the pre-drilled hole for the, um, for the stoop, for the bird to grab onto. So, yeah, that's what this is here for. All right, so where am I gonna do that? <clears throat> oh yeah, I gotta use this one. Okay, that one inch. And then the thing that I'm going to be using is just an old vintage miniature screwdriver. But I do have to cut that off right there because uh, it's, otherwise it's just too long and I don't want to. So I'm going to cut this off. But this is what I'm going to use as a, as a stoop uh, for, the, for the bird to rest on. And uh, all right, so I believe the hole. This one is right in between, right in between the two lines. At least it is on the one outside, and that's the one I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So let me get the right bit here. Uh, hmm. I suppose that will do. If not, I'll epoxy the sound bitch in. Okay, right here, right here, right here. Okay, that was easy. Okay, and then right above it, right, right between the, the peak and that hole is where I'm gonna do it, so. Okay, now I don't go all the way through it because you'll just tear up the back side of it. So once this bit piece goes through, flip it over. And there you have it, a nice clean hole. So now that we've done all that, the very last thing I'm going to do is uh, put that put that stoop in there but first I'm going to cut that off there it is so that's going to be last so now what we can basically do is get this puppy put together Okay, I'm using my handy dandy pneumatic stapler. Love this guy. Ten bucks at the pawn shop. That's the way to go. Christ, I pay more for a box of these staples than I do the actual the actual gun. Alright. 
So I believe I started with the roof, the roof. I'm not going to say it. Hmm. Okay. I did not double check to see if that blade was at 45 degrees. It was not, but it is now. I went, I went and recut these basically. All right. I'm much happier with that. Okay. So basically I'm going to, uh, get my glue. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put a couple of couple of screws, a couple of nail or I'm going to put a couple of staples in there right now. UDA. All right. That's just to get it started. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put the front and I think what I'm going to do is the back is just a, a plain back and I'm going to put that flush to the back so that there's an overhang on the front. The part that, you know, everybody sees. I'm sure if you put your I'm sure if you put your uh, birdhouse up, you're going to have it so you can see the birds coming in and out of it. So, uh, so they're nice and flush. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is get... Relatively even. This isn't furniture making, it's just a birdhouse. Keep telling yourself that if you're seeing something that ah, I don't know if that's going to be perfect. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a birdhouse. Okay. Now these nails can, these, um, I'm not using Brad. This is a, this is a 18, a 16 gauge. So it's a little thicker than, um, a lot thicker than regular staples, but this thing is amazing and no blow throughs. Look at that. Nice. All right. So it's glued and stapled and, uh, it's about all you need. I mean, these things aren't made to last a million years, but they'll last you 10 years. Um, all right. So this one goes over the top. Nope, wait a minute, what am I doing here? This goes in like this. All right, that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> Okay, so so this is my other four by f four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and wow, I'm really making that's quite the and that fits inside. Okay, it's quite the overhang. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm going to glue this one in first. I forgot the order that I'm doing it. Okay. Like that, like that. 
And then this goes on the inside, this goes on the outside. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Got it. Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, here's, here's what it is. I thought this was going to go on the outside, but it's not. You'd think I remember that. I already freaking built one. But that's okay. Let's, let's get this one. Then we'll get the little guy in there. He fits in like this. This one I'm probably not going to glue because it's pretty damn tight already. Yeah, don't get your fingers anywhere near. That could just shoot right out of there. Okay. Now I'm going to eyeball that. Yay! <laughs> all right, so here's just the front. That's all that's left. We're going to put the front on. I already have it glued, so I'm going to put a staple on. One more. Okay. There it is. That's... We just threw that together in no time. Um, I am going to put this in. I made the hole just a smidgen smaller so that it fits in there. And what you can do, if you want, you can also just, like, I think this is too loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put i mix up just a little bit of epoxy and put it all over this and then just stick it in there just so it doesn't fall out while it's outside. Also, you need to put on a hook, uh, obviously, to hook it on. Or there's, there's a number of different things you can do. You can't, I don't have a little hook. Wow. Poop. Um, maybe an eye hook? There's a number of things you can do. You can put the, you can, you know, start to drill a little hole here and get a, and get a hook and just hook, put it right inside of a tree. Or if you want it to hang down further, you can put a, just a little eyelet and then some string or whatever wire and hang it. So, uh, okay, that's it. We just made a birdhouse, a little wren house. And uh, the hole is so small because the bird is so small. Um, and it keeps the predators out, like the blue jays and the, and the, and the mockingbirds. Um, and the murder hawks. We have murder hawks out front. Uh, two thin shinned hawks. They're really small hawks, but they're so loud and they just, they're, they're just assholes. Um, they can't, there's no way they can get in there. So they can't get in at the wren's, wren's babies. So uh, this is a perfect little, little house and it looks cute. Okay, so that's it here at Dean's Summer Shop. Uh, a wren house. Uh, Easy to make uh, if you have the tools, um, but otherwise I'm going to be making about uh, ten, at least 10 of these. So if there's somebody out there that wants one, DM me, uh, leave a message in the comments below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you later.